Hi and welcome to another quick tip. Today I'll show how to do this uh, hard, work, hard work from the Control Chaos. Um, and I talked about this at ABC last year, but here I just wanted to quickly go through it and how to do it in a parametrical way and how you can get so much variation uh, to create these kind of uh, renders. Um, and all we have to do, like we'll start with the landscape. Um, so yeah, I have your landscape already, um, just random settings. and. I'll just show you that this is just a camera for that render, but it's just a landscape. And I have uh, some set of vision in it, make it a bit smoother. And then as you see here, I'm, I want to wrap it into spline. So I'll show you the spline that I have. So just a simple line. Uh, so if I now turn this on, adjust this here, so you can see. So this is the main shape. This is pretty much the shape you're seeing here. And you see this, if I show you here, these lines here, they're the same as there. So the whole idea is, do we want splines to kind of go for the surface? So how do we do this? Well, we can do it with the most spline. So if I grab here one most spline, you see it's over there, but we need more. So let's add a, the most spline into a cloner. Now let's change from the Y to the X, because that's where we wanted them to go. And let's push it all the way to the left, to that edge and bump the, the settings to see until the other edge and now let's change the mode from per step to end point and now we can actually change the number of splines in between so 60 for now is fine we just kind of want to get the bases first and then we can add more right so now let me group this and i'm just going to call it splines and oops let me just get it now into there, a bit more organized. So yeah, so now we want this to kind of follow that landscape surface. So we're gonna go into the former and add a surface deformer. So let's add it into the group and for the surface, the landscape. Now, nothing is happening because we need to change the type from projection to mapping. So now we only see one spline. Well, that's because at the moment the deformer doesn't really know that there's a corner there. So let's grab a connect. And this will help us now and show it that there's more splines, but it's not going the all, all the way through. So the reason for that is that on the surface deformant, by default, the scale comes as 0.5. So if we address it to one, now it will go from all the edges. Now, I, I realized that I, sh I should have changed, um, instead of the landscape, I should have added the subdivision. So let's take care of that. So let's go to the surface and add the subdivision and now we already have it much better the splines but it still can get a bit of improvement so if you go to the most spline you can change the steps and that's why i like using the most spline because we can change it as we go so now i added 215 is way smoother great so we get in there but now let's add more so from 60 let's go to 150 and for the purpose of this tutorial, that's what I use, but you can add more or less, that's up to you. So now if I render, nothing happens, right? So we need to get a redshift tag, the object one, and it automatically has a curve, so let's add cylinders. And right away, we get it, something, we get the splines, right? So I'm just gonna add this material that I already have prepped. And pretty much what's on this material is a, it's just one node connected to the diffuse color um, and then it's just a bit of a speckler to be honest uh, play with it uh, for the lights I have a dome light and I have a spotlight and the spotlight is really creating this kind of haze here on this corner so that's why I also have the redshift environment to get this kind of rays coming through uh, and yeah so the cool thing about this is that with just the landscape if you go to the landscape you can change the seed and by changing the seed you get a completely different form so it takes a bit but if we wait here we go so new shape all by changing the seed and you can go there and change the seed as many as you want you can change the settings the orientation you can change the number of splines so there's plenty of things you can do um, with just this setup and you can get so much variation um, so yeah so here are some of the renders quick ones that I've done with this setup from this actual tutorial uh, hope you enjoyed love to see your results and uh, see you in the next tutorial so thank you and have a great day